Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Cold Blue Opinions, coming back at you with another one of his opinions coming from his motherfucking bunker. Now we got this whole Wade and KSI thing, and well, I'll talk about the drama, 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 um, kind of, sort of, but y'all know I like to try, try to extrapolate uh, some sort of, of, I don't know, lesson or whatever from this. Now, this whole situation in and of itself, it's it's being handled very poorly on KSI's and, and Mams Taylor, and I'm going to tell you guys what. Now, people will focus a lot of the, the criticism on KSI. But it tells you how bad Man Taylor is doing the fact that people are are still criticizing him a lot. But I think in the end, it'll be KSI that really suffers the most PR-wise and, I mean, financially. Because this is the kind of thing that people will look at. Because Wade is one of those guys where it's like, it's hard to really hate him. In all honesty, it's hard to really hate the dude because that man be chilling. You know what I'm saying? He be doing his own thing, obviously uh, trying to succeed and make connections and everything. But... He really just be chilling and he gives his honest opinion at the end of the day so it's hard to like you know what i mean like you attack this guy it's kind of like attacking a fucking golden retriever it's like why why would you why would you attack a golden retriever bro like what's wrong with you you know like wade don't really he, you know what i'm saying like he don't be out the way but like he don't be in the way trying to be in people you know be starting beef and shit so it's very odd to make a beef with wade of all people so this is going to end up hurting ksi more than anything and while I do think KSI is wrong for what he did, I think primarily a lot of this is on Mams Taylor. Like he handled it the worst out of all of them. And while I can't sit here and criticize KSI, I think initially KSI got emotional and he made a mistake. You guys got to remember KSI is what, I think 29, 30 years old. He's not that old and he's the boss of lots of people. And I can somewhat empathize with that because I'm the boss as well. And while I would never, ever do this, I've never been a boss on this level. And it is frustrating. You know, you got to deal with everyone's personalities. There's people uh, under you that, you that you're responsible for. And they give you attitude and they do this and they do that. And KSI being someone who grew up, social media, internet, he, have an issue, he has an issue with somebody. His knee-jerk reaction is, I'm going to post about it online, right? That's not the best way to handle things, but I can understand why he did this. And this is really the first time where he's went at somebody who's worked for him publicly. So it's a mistake. I hope not to. I hope he doesn't do something stupid like that again. But because I can't empathize with that, he made that mistake. And he's young, all things considered. I will still get this. Okay, you made a mistake. Everyone's criticizing you for it. I don't have that. Doesn't mean I have to go shit on you for it. Like, I understand you fucked up. I'm going to say you fucked up. You did not handle this right. You should have handled this privately, expressed this to him privately in a, in, in a mature manner. But, you know, you didn't. So, yeah, I hope next time you, you can learn from it. Now, that being said, my bad if I keep looking over my computer, the World Baseball Classic's on, so I'm a little distracted. But um, but that being said, Mams Taylor's like fucking 50, bro. There's no excuse for this, nigga. There's no excuse for the shit that he did. That was extremely immature. That was extremely immature. And the fact that that's a guy above KSI, like, that's what he would do. And he's, like, 50. And KSI, he's, what, KSI's manager? Who is he to KSI? He's in this sort of, like, authority position to KSI where KSI looks looks to him and, and, and KSI respects his word. If that's the kind of person that KSI is keeping around him, he needs to rethink having a business relationship with this kind of guy. The fact that this 50-year-old fucking dinosaur... It's coming out. And yes, I'm ages. And I'll tell you, I told this one old person. They were really mad. I used to work at Myers, And I told them, look, I ain't getting old. They're like, oh, no, young man. We all one day we're going to get old. You're going to be old, too. I'm like, look, at 50 years old, I'm clocking out. I, I'm, just, I'm just letting you know that. And he looked at me. He's like, okay. Man. I'm like, all right, bro. Like, <laughs> clocking out now. Anyways, I don't want to get too into that. But they, they are working on stuff to reverse aging, by the way. I don't want to get too into it, but they literally will be able to, they're working, they can do it in mice, in the mice's eyes. I don't want to get too into that. But anyways, let's get back to this. So, Mams Taylor is really, he's, it's him, bro. It's him. He's the worst one. He's the worst one in, 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 in all of this. The fact that KSI is keeping someone like him around, I think that that's, a, in, in a business sense, that is extremely unprofessional for him to do. On, on the public stage, to fire him in front of everybody to co create this kind of drama that's extremely unprofessional and unfair to wade and it's extremely embarrassing now i understand king star is trying to keep his job so he's he's he keeps on like obviously taking ksi side guys don't blame king star keep 
it, he can't fucking help it. That's how he, that, that's just his character. That's how he was raised. And it's not intrinsically a bad thing that, Ke that Keem Star is doing that. He's just trying to ensure that he's keeping his job. It's not as if he's looking at Wade and he's like, Wade, you're a piece of shit. He's just trying to, you know, he's trying to keep his connections, right? So it, it, that that's just kind of how the world is. I don't look too bad. It's not as if Keem Star is completely disrespecting Wade while doing this. He's doing it in the best way he possibly can. And that's just how he is, right? And he doesn't uh, um, have allegiance to Wade in that sense. Now, that being said, um, that being said, uh, my bad. Some some uh, employees were messaging me, got a little distracted. But that being said, I, I this could be bad for KSI. He's gonna need to do some PR. I think this may hurt people deciding to support him. But maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. But I could see it hurting KSI because this definitely looks bad on his character. And most people are going to focus on him because he's KSI. Mams Taylor is just Mams Taylor. But this is a lesson. And be careful of the people that you keep around you for mentors. Because that's what Mams is to KSI. I mean, he's an older guy who's his manager. He's like a mentor to him, right? Be careful of the people you keep around you in general. But especially of the kind of people you have as mentors, man. Because if you have a guy who's supposed to... You're supposed to, he's managing you. So you're supposed to listen to his word and respect what he has to say. And this guy is over here doing immature shit like that. That's not someone who you should have, right? And that's going to rub off on you and how you carry yourself moving forward. So I I think, in my opinion, someone like Mams Taylor got to go. He's always trying to do this kind of like, um, what's the dude from WWE? Uh, the... Damn, I can't think of dude's name. I don't know. Yeah, I, you could say in a way, I guess he thinks he's like Dana White or some shit where Dana White will kind of sort of talk shit about his fighters from time to time. Or, But the way that Dana White does it, it's, it's not like Mams Taylor. Mams Taylor will just straight up attack you like a dude from Twitter. As opposed to Dana White is like, you know, if they don't want to be here, you know, okay. I mean, these guys, they keep fucking complaining. He, he talks like a boss, but like a boss who's trying to also promote his fights. It seems like he doesn't want to take the fight and I can't make anyone fight. That doesn't, you know, it's like... It, it's manipulative in a way where it's like, okay, he's kind of gaslighting, probably, but he ain't outright just saying, man, this person a bitch, he's a coward, or, oh, uh, exposing shit about their contracts and shit like that. He doesn't do no imperfectional shit like that. So, yeah, no, Mams Taylor, I think he has to go, in my opinion. If for KSI's best interest, if KSI wants to grow, he has to either decide to take this up on his own and learn on his own, or find someone else who's not Mams Taylor who's not doing shit like this to help uh, organize all this. But I mean, maybe I'm wrong, man. I mean, I ain't a businessman like KSI. You know, I haven't managed things on this level. I don't know all that MAMS has to offer. Maybe it completely sinks without him. I, I don't know. But that right there is a red flag to me. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And uh, I'm out.